now that I keep a prayer journal, I will start reading from it and actually make this channel readings from my prayer, prayer journal. Positive confession. I tried it, but it did not do much good. Now, in a way, I still do positive confessions, but this time it's different than that whole charismatic word of faith form of positive confessions. I feel like the biggest problem with positive confession is actually it stifles honesty with God. The Bible says to cast all your anxiety on him. Him because he cares for you. When we talk about our anxieties, sometimes the church can rebuke us. Oh, you're letting your situation rob you of your joy. Oh, you're letting that rob you of your peace. I would complain about a lack of sleep. I was told to say, Thank you that I got the rest I need from the sleep I got. And I didn't want to because, quite frankly, it wasn't even on my heart. It was just an empty confession. I needed to tell my Heavenly Father how I felt. Even Jesus Felt negative emotions. On the night he was arrested, he asked the Father to take the cup of death away from him, but Jesus still said, Not my will, but your will be done. Jesus quoted Psalm 22 on the cross. It begins with, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But if you read the rest of the psalm, you find out that he was not forsaken of the Father. He trusted the Father. He just felt the pressure of sin and death on the world. He was honest with the Father how he felt. And the Holy Spirit, when we, and I've seen this a lot very recently, um, you know, when we honest God about how we feel, he actually distinguishes what's our flesh screaming at us about the sin and death we see and what's actually his spirit. And we're able to actually take these carnal thoughts and say, this is a carnal thought, not from God. I don't even believe this. So we need to be honest with God, and I actually drop F-bombs while praying sometimes. I call people nasty names when I pray sometimes. However, I have more joy, and my mind is renewed to the Word of God. Now, we do need to be reminded of the Word of God every day. I personally keep a list of um, things to write out, or keep a list of um, keep a list of truths that the Word of God to be reminded every day. If you want to quote them out loud, fine. If you want to write them out loud, fine. We all, but it's up to us how we want to be reminded of the Word of God. It's whatever you desire. If you want to hear the same sermon over again, that's your desire. If you want to post Bible verses around your house, that's your desire. There is no right or wrong way to be reminded of the Word of God. It's what you desire. And if it looks like saying stuff out loud, then it's saying stuff out loud. And the word confess actually means to say the same as, so... Biblical confession is actually saying the same stuff as God. It's agreeing with them. So we need to stop this whole positive confession that will act like, oh, it's a magic thing that will get us done, or okay, or it's going to bring us peace and joy. I mean, if it, if you're reminding yourself of a 
if you're being reminded, if it reminds you of a truth, the Holy Spirit's already spoken to you, fine. But what I'm saying is, if there is something negative on your heart, express it to God. He cares for you. Be honest with him about how you feel. And it'll actually end up producing more peace and more joy. And you might be saying, well, it says in Philippians, we need to think of things are good, that are good. Well, when you're telling God what's on your heart, you're thinking of the fact that he cares for you. So even if what you're expressing isn't really that positive, you're still thinking of a loving father who actually cares for you. I'm James M. Tuttle, and that's just how it is.